Hey guys, Sarge here with the December 10th combat report for our 3v3 play by email campaign. I'll definitely do a, a turn episode next time so we get so you guys can get see where we're at. I haven't really been doing them because I kind of just do them piecemeal slowly and jump around a lot. I wouldn't really be giving you much valuable information apart from the intel reports, which I will be starting to do. Do shortly in the next episode. We have been getting these turns around really quick, which is nice. We got our turn done in less than a day, which is great. I got me in more amphibious operations off of San Fernando. They take 47 casualties. We did get an intelligence report that there will be an invasion heading to Mersing. I will have Force Z, which we've renamed to Valhalla Squadron, ready to engage when necessary. We probably won't stop them from landing, but we'll definitely hit them hard on the seas. Looks like we've got an ASW attack. See if anything happens. Nothing happens. And Japanese firing at an AP, and it hits. Probably gonna sink. Yep, there it goes. Another attack on that same area, and that hits as well. Two APs down at the beginning. Is it, is it the same one? That's a totally different name, actually. Dang, he's. Alright, so this isn't my area. This is. This is freaking. This is Shaggy's area. <laughs> we'll be definitely telling him that he needs to get ASW up. Because that is, we can't lose three ships like that. Make that four ships. Japanese bombardment. At Vagan, looks like. 41 casualties. And then hits around there. More amphibious landing. Nothing happening there. Was it four or five APs lost in that one in that one spot? That is horrible. Hopefully, I did increase AS my own ASW from in this area, so hopefully I'll get rid of the subs here, or at least mess with them more.
Well, the S-38 is fighting a torpedo destroyer. It misses. SS-37 fires at Japanese destroyer. Another miss. Take six hits in return. They're under the air phase in the morning. Catalina destroyed by Cap. Two Catalina destroyed by Cap in the same spot. I'm gonna speed it up here, get to the airstrikes. Oscars versus Buffaloes at Singapore. Oh, it looks like we... Were we above them? Were we the ones diving? Or were they diving? They're certainly shooting us a lot more than we're shooting them. I think they've gotten a hit. We haven't shot them back yet. Now we're going to speed through this now. We're claiming one Oscar destroyed for zero. Do we know how where they came in from? Roughly... 22,000. Yeah, I had the fighters at 23. Betty's approaching Clark with Warhawks defending. This is going to be a slaughter. 17 Warhawks versus 14 unescorted Betty's. Come on, hit him hard. Says three got through. Claiming eight destroyed Bettys. Probably more. Holy crap, 42 bombers unescorted over Clark. <coughs> Raid was detected by radar, so we should have a bit more time to hit him before they get over target. Didn't have too many Warhawks in the air. Speed through this. Most of them. Uh, all but two bombers get through, which is not a lot, but they get intercepted by nine on the way out. We're claiming two Nels destroyed and four Bettys, with one destroyed Dakota on the ground. Could have been a lot worse for them. More Nels approaching Clark. Definitely killed a lot of bombers. They have to they have to take some some time to rest and 
refit a little bit. Claiming one now destroyed and two damaged. Nine zeros over Singapore with 18 buffaloes. I'm surprised they have the range. It must be coming from here to there. That, that seems insane. That's going to be a slaughter of the buffaloes, though. Yeah, three get over. Claiming a loss of three buffaloes to zero. I doubt that they're definitely going to have at least one ops loss. At least one or two ops losses from f f climbing that far. Not climbing, flying that far. And then getting into combat. I do have more than 18 buffaloes. They're just naturally not all there. <laughs> not, I'm not setting them all to fly. Twenty casualties. Oh, strike at midway. From the probably the Kido Batai. One damaged Kate, four losses. And then a bunch of base hits. Thirty three casualties. It's over Georgetown. And More bombing around. More Oscars sent into Singapore. No losses to no losses. Sending Sally's to once again go after a base force. That will have no impact on the game. Probably just to train his pilots. A little bit of softening on Hong Kong. No hits. And just a lot of bombing. Put a bunch of cap over. Lost the Hudson. They took eight casualties. And then got stragglers. No losses. Six casualties. Now to the PM air phase. We may have gotten rid of all the mines in Singapore, which is great. Let's 
gonna speed it up to all the airstrikes. Sally's going attacking in Georgetown, going after HDMLs. I'll gladly let them try and bomb HDMLs. Well, it looks like some B339s are attacking. Be impressive if they did anything to that. Yep. They got roast. 50 kilogram bombs. They, they'd have done more damage just ramming them. Speed it up here. Amphibious landings at Davao. 74 casualties from just landing. More landing at San Fernando. Under the land phase. Oh, interesting. Oh, it had to have come from Ai Chang, and I actually am trying to engage Ai Chang as well. Three hundred and seventy-four losses to nothing. That's they have one to two odds. Man, armor in this game is insane. Two forty eight to two thousand one hundred. Thirteen casualties to seven. They're bombarding at San Fernando. We get to take thirty nine. And they're probably gonna push us <coughs> push us out of Cota Baru. And they do. They take 121, we take 2200. More bombarding at San Fernando. We lose two guns. Now we're attacking at Ai Chang. I will claim not to be the most intelligent on how this game works, especially in ground combat. We take, they take 690, we take about a thousand. I do have a lot more troops around Ai Chang moving in to Ai Chang as well. Fifty six casualties there. Get some fortification expanding in Burma. I think that's Burma, is it? Maybe. That 
is the end of turn phase as the fortifications did start. So we're just going to wait to see what arrives on the map. So I am leaving my, I am putting my ships in Singapore for a surface combat group because it's going to be there to make their life a living hell until they take Singapore. Any, any surface combat group that they have that's not carriers will, like, unless they out, they got to outnumber me with battleships. Because they're gonna lose every engagement they got with when I have, I have the Prince of Wales and Repulse, and I'm bringing in more cruisers. Like this could be like, this won't be a play that even loses me the game, if it does, if it does fail. But my t my strategy is literally just to be a thorn in their side and just sabotage any of their plans as much as possible so that's how i'm gonna play and i'll see you guys in the next one